This morning, the radar is pretty quiet for the southwest Florida coastline, but that breeze that has been with us now for the last day or so out of the north to northeast is kicking up a few showers along the east coast, and you can see them diving pretty quickly there between Fort Lauderdale and Miami. We've had a couple die out here on the northwestern side of the lake. Our rain chance today, 10 to 20 percent of a fast moving shower. Otherwise, we kind of focus on the wind and what's going to happen with subtropical storm Nicole in the days ahead. We've got temperatures this morning in the low 70s along the coast, upper 60s inland, and you can see that wind north near 10. Your forecast for today calls for a high temperature of 87 degrees. We had 88 yesterday. Our average now is 82, so we're going to be on the warm side. Sunset time coming up there at 540. You can see the almanac out of the record low on this date, 46, record high, 91, said back a few years ago in 2019. So with subtropical storm Nicole, it is undergoing this process of transitioning to a pure tropical system. We've seen this flare up of convection, the showers and thunderstorms around the center, and we will start to see this look more like a traditional tropical storm and hurricane as it moves closer to the coastline. The latest information as of four o'clock keeps it technically as a subtropical system movement northwest at eight and those winds of 45. Now overnight, a redevelopment around that center a little farther to the north has allowed the forecast track to be shifted north as well. One thing I also want you to note, look at all the cloud cover on the north side of the system. Quite a bit of dry air still on the southern side. That's another trend we'll have to watch continue as it moves towards the state, because if we're on that south side of the center circulation, we may do all right with rainfall and even wind if this continues to move far enough north. Now we are waking up this morning with a tropical storm watch in place for almost all of southwest Florida except Collier County. What that watch means is that tropical storm force conditions are possible within the next 48 hours. And the center of that forecast track, you can see the movement north. The center of it takes it near Indian River County or the southern parts of Brevard. And that cone goes as far south as central Palm Beach County. Now this storm is very large. Remember this cone graphic is not an impact graphic. I'll show you the wind field in just a second. Once it makes landfall as a category one hurricane overnight Thursday, it'll pick up a little forward speed as that cold front grabs it and races it through the Carolinas. Now that wind field, here's the center. Look how large the tropical storm force winds are off to that north side. As the storm approaches and gets that little shove to the south from that ridge of high pressure, we can see this uh, wind field start to move on shore here as early as noon Wednesday for inland areas such as Highland maybe even Glades County and then continuing to progress inland by 10 o'clock Wednesday that tropical storm force wind core starting to get in portions of southwest Florida including Sarasota DeSoto County and that's why we have that tropical storm watch now that it starts to lift north the tropical storm force winds exit our area and if this forecast holds most of the heavy rain should be north of the center line so the threats with the movement north continue to diminish for us here in southwest Florida. So again, cautiously, cautiously optimistic about this trend. The GFS and European models still take this in just north of West Palm and then start to move it northbound. And I want to give you a visualization here on the radar. As this storm moves towards the Bahamas, this is our in-house computer model. You start to see some of those outer bands and showers there Wednesday into Thursday. Landfall would happen two to three o'clock on Thursday morning. And that's when we get some of that uh, squally weather, those rain bands beginning to move through in the northern part of the area before pulling on off towards the north. So right now, as we look at the seven day forecast, another breezy warm day, and then you can see the temperatures cool due to the cloud cover. Showers and storms around will continue the breeze there on Friday. So fingers crossed this trend continues here over the next couple of days.